Yezu has revealed a brand new dual band VHF UHF C4 FM Yezu System Fusion radio dubbed the FTM 500 Delta Echo, which is the UK model. Show you the UK website that has it uh, has it listed right now for pre-order for a release in March of 2023. Let's go. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in Ham Radio. Guess what? Yezu has released a brand new version. Is this in response to the discontinuation of the FTM 400? I don't know. Timing is coincidental. I kind of feel that like they have released, they released the 100, then the 300, then the 200 after the 400. I have no idea how their numbering system works. But according to John Crook at Yezu, the reason that 400 was discontinued is due to supply chain issues and shortages of parts. Okay. Okay. This radio presumably was designed after all of that and is has parts that are readily available right now here today. So Martin Lynch and Sons has this posted right now for pre-order. A $50 or 50 pound down payment it was about $41.67, excluding VAT. Uh, in U.S. dollars. So this is the look and feel of the brand new radio. It's got a really nice looking color screen on it. Looks very similar to the FTM 300. Currently, I run the FTM 300 in my truck. That's the radio that I have to do system fusion from the truck, and I use it to beacon APRS when I'm on, on road trips. The way this radio looks is like, it looks like the face is beveled, but it might just be the way that it's sitting in the photo. So it's really kind of hard to tell. When they revealed the FT710 AESS HF radio, it had a screen, a, mo a computer monitor behind it, and people were like, oh, does it come with the computer monitor? No, it didn't come with the computer monitor. It came with the speaker that was in the picture, but not the computer monitor. Marketing. You got to love marketing. So this one, it's hard to tell if that, screen's actually, if that screen is actually beveled, like, say, the ICOM IC7100, or the Oshang um, KG-1000, or UV, UV-980 Papa. So it certainly looks like it is in the picture, but they might have just taken the screen off the radio and kind of tilted it forward so you can see what it, what it looks like. The most obvious thing to me is the big, what looks like a VFO knob on the right-hand side. That looks like a VFO knob to me. So are we going to get all mode? On this radio. It says on the Martin Lynch and Sons website that it is VHF UHF. It does not mention anything about six meters or about HF. So that is, I don't know, a dual band. I've been wanting to see a dual band single sideband radio for years. And if that's what they're doing, that would be really fun. Now, this is all speculation. I have no idea. I have no insider information. I am guessing by looking at the photo. So your guess is just as good as mine, probably better, because I am wishful thinking, okay? So I don't want anyone to come out, well, Jason said it was going to be all mode. No, I didn't say that. I'm wondering if it's going to be all mode because of the big knob on the right-hand side. So Martin Lynch and Sons, I will share a link to this posting in the description below. Somebody in Discord sent me this link, and I'm like, cool. So I Googled for it, and there's been a couple of guys put it on YouTube already, so I'm not the first one. Uh, I think Temporarily Offline was live streaming about it, actually. I stopped by for a minute, looked at what he was saying. I was like, okay, cool. And then I, I left. I didn't listen to much of what he said because I, want, I wanted to record my own video about it. So I'll link his video down below. He's, he did a live stream, so it's going to be longer than this video. But this one right here, it says, you know, it's got... This is basically the same picture. One has a new behind it, and one doesn't have a new behind it. It's got all the buttons on top. Still got the PMG mode, VM, band, and back buttons. It's got four knobs, one in each corner, which is what the FTM 300 uh, has. Uh, one of those is a channel change knob for the top band, and one of those is a volume knob for the top band, and the two on the bottom are channel change and volume for the bottom band. So if we scroll down here, there's very little information about it. And right here it says, we are pleased to announce the preliminary information about the FTM500D. So they call it a D, even though the posting calls it a DE. DE is the European model. Ours will be probably called a DR. That's usually the way they, they either FTM300DR or FTM300D, something like that. DE, echo, when it ends in echo, that's usually a European model. So this is going to be the European model. Hopefully the U.S. model will be released soon, or announced soon, I should say. 50 watts on both bands, good. C4FM, FM, so it just lists it as FM. Strange that an FM radio would have a big control knob like that, but okay. 144 and 430, dual band, 
digital mode transceiver. The FTM 500E shares the Yezu core features utilizing the latest C4FM digital technology with many new features and improvements, but it doesn't say what they are. The new FTM 500D series will be available in March of 2023. So that's only like a month from now. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more news to come about this. And that's all. That's all the website says. It says sign up for latest information. There's no other pictures. If you Google for it, you find a couple of YouTube videos and that were put, posted today, actually. And I'm going to post mine today. I'm going to post it later this afternoon. And you can order, you can pre-order it from Martin Lynch and Sons for a $50, 50 euro down payment. That is it. That's all we know at the, at the time. I showed you the picture. I showed you the listing. That's all I know for sure. I'm speculating on the beveled head. Again, I don't think it's a beveled head. I think it's just the way it looks in the photo. They just got it kind of tilted upwards in the photo for some reason. I think they're trying to signify that the, the head is removable, which all of the heads on all of the System Fusion mobile radios are removable. So good, good, good. It does kind of have the grooves down the side of it, so it looks like it has the uh, the quick-release mobile bracket mount, similar to the FTM 300 and the FTM 6000. So it looks like it, it's staying in tradition with that. I talked to John Crook about that feature when he came onto my live stream when those two radios were introduced. It's got more buttons on the top. It looks like the screen is about the same size as the FTM 300 and FTM 200 screens. Okay, that's it. Might be a little bit bigger. I don't. It's hard to tell from the picture. You can't really tell. Um, and but I doubt the the radio screen is beveled when it fits when you put it on the radio. I doubt it's beveled. But but the question is the real question is what is that big control knob for? Why are you putting a big control knob like that? on an FM-only radio? I would like to know that. I would like to know the answer to that. Do you have an answer to that? I don't have an answer to that. I would like to know an answer to that.